my name's Holly Simpson and I came here from Watford in Hertfordshire, which is just outside London. Adam and I come from uh, Barking and Dagenham, which is Greater London. Uh, my name's James Cook. I've come down from Eastbourne, but I live in Beer, so quite a long journey for the last two days. Um, I'm Melissa and I come from uh, Norfolk today. My name's Mickey and I'm also known as Aurora. I've been playing The Sims for about seven years now. I spent so many hours playing. I bought all of the expansion packs and just really liked the whole generational aspect of it. Well, I mostly like the building side of things. I used to love making houses out of um, Lego when I was a little kid. You get so open-ended, you can story tell, you can create. There's no right or wrong way to do it. I love building, I love just trying to create things that are totally out of the ordinary. <laughs> Dag -dag. <laughs> Probably the generational thing, the fact that you can have children, grandparents, cousins, aunts, uncles, all of that, I absolutely love that. The open neighbourhood, getting the Sims to actually be able to just leave their house. Such a new dynamic to the game that's, that we've not had before, it's more of a community aspect as well. Create a Sim screen and that interface, so I'm going to give that a good go as well. And, and also to see how everyone else takes to it and the enjoyment that everyone gets out of it, I, the excitement, that's what I want to see. Woohoo! Nastily to say, but probably the different ways of dying. <laughs> Can't help it. It'll probably be the first time I saw the penguin in the Seasons expansion pack because it's very cute. First time my game ever created twins. I do try to keep them alive sometimes. I've got two characters in this house. Um, one of which I spent more time with the other because I just wanted to get on to playing. Um, so they're just a brother and sister character who've basically got identical traits but different wishes. They're okay. different lifetime wishes to see how that affects the wishes that they roll up. So just to see what differences come up between them and how if they behave differently even though they have the same traits. And so far they pretty much are going down two completely different tracks so I'm quite impressed with that. That's her ambition. She wants to be a musician, yeah. Oh, okay. So she, I just bought her the guitar, so she's sucking right now. But she's practicing, and eventually she might sound good. Yeah. Beautiful. I mean, I've been just trying to concentrate on what they can and can't do, but I've seen some of the shots down here. Just amazing sunsets and stuff. Looks gorgeous. So I'm really impressed. I really like it. <laughs> a lot of people want to know how, how, um, with the Grim Reapers in it and all the rest of it, so I've got to, you know, I've got to kill someone off eventually. Ah! Yeah, it's a little bit more bitter. Too. It's been fantastic how you can um, alter their facial features, like every single aspect of it. They're really quick to use. You see something you like and think, oh, I'll just change the colour. You can do that really quickly. It's just the attention to detail and the little things that really make the difference. It's just really different playing across the whole neighbourhood. Seeing this neighbourhood's made me feel wow, because it's so good how they can just go wherever they want. No, no loading screens, no nothing. They can just do whatever they want. It's fantastic. I think when The Sims 3 comes out, I might be building a bit more than just when I have to, because messing around with the creator style tool is just fantastic. If you want it to be there, there is this fantastic level of detail now, which just wasn't there in The Sims 2. I've never played any, any sort of computer game like that before, and now I'm definitely going to.